This video clip is part of the EPFL introductory course on information, computing, and communication. It is the third in a set of video clips on computer communication and networking. It discusses the fundamental notion of protocol encapsulation. In the first video clip of this series, we saw that the protocol involves a number of functions that require that each protocol message carry corresponding bits in its own protocol header. In the second video clip just preceding this one, we saw that while communication happened logically and conceptually between peer protocol layer implementations on communication computers, practically such communication is actually relayed through the lower layer protocols and across the only real physical layer connections between pairs of adjacent computers and routers through the entire network. The legitimate question to then ask is how does this relaying through lower layers happen? And the answer differs on the sending and receiving sides. On the sending side, protocol layer N takes any message coming from protocol layer N plus 1, including its own n plus 1 header, and tacks in front of it the layer n header before passing the resulting message down to layer n minus 1 or across the physical layer connection if n equals 1. Thus, when a program wants to send data to a peer program on another computer on the other side of the network, it passes that data to the proper application protocol layer which prefixes the data with the corresponding application layer protocol header, H5, in this example. The application protocol layer in turn passes the resulting message to the transport protocol, which prefixes it with its own transport protocol header, H4, in this example. The transport protocol layer in turn passes the resulting message to the network protocol, which prefixes it with its own network protocol header, H3, in this example. The network protocol layer in turn passes the resulting message to the link protocol, which again prefixes it with its own link protocol header, H2, in this example. The link protocol layer in turn passes the resulting message to the physical layer protocol, which prefixes it again with its own physical protocol header, H1, in this example and the physical protocol layer finally sends the resulting message across the actual physical wire or wireless medium onto the adjacent device, a router or a directly receiving computer on the network, on its way to the de designated target computer. On the receiving side, the process is simply reversed. Protocol layer N receives a message from layer N minus 1, or over the physical layer connection if N is equal to 1. It processes the incoming layer N protocol header and removes it from the message before pushing it up to the protocol layer N plus 1 together with the still attached layer N plus 1 and other headers. Thus, when a message arrives through a physical wire or medium with its five attached headers, the physical protocol layer on the receiving side processes and removes its own physical layer header, H1, and passes the remainder of the message to the link layer. The link layer similarly processes and removes its own link layer header, H2, and passes the remainder of the message to the network layer, the network layer processes and removes its own network layer header, H3, and passes the remainder of the message to the transport layer. The transport layer processes and removes its own transport layer header, 4, and passes the remainder of the message to the application layer. And the application layer finally processes and removes its own application layer header 5 and delivers the actual data to the destination program on the receiving computer.